When the COVID-19 pandemic hit, it was an unforgettable moment in the world. Local high school teachers still remember their reaction to it almost three years ago. We'd heard a lot about it in the news, and I was following the uh, graphs showing the increase in the number of cases, and it seemed that at some point we were going to have to shut down. We weren't expecting to shut down when we did. Uh, I think it was March 13th. Back in March, I remember very clearly, uh, we just i just done a field trip to Chabot with, with my seniors. Uh, we came back from that, and we were told we'd be out for a couple weeks, and that turned into a couple of years. Getting accustomed to virtual learning was difficult for teachers. It felt like being a first-year teacher again. It, it felt like having to relearn how to do everything because we kind of did. We had to figure out how to teach, but in a totally different way, different format. I am just a very active individual, and for me, it became a desk job, so I would sit on my computer, and, and even though my students were moving, I wasn't moving. Even something very simple like turn to your neighbor and talk about something that happened to you last weekend. How do you do that in Zoom? You're going to make 35 breakout rooms. Teachers saw changes in students' habits and behavior while being virtual. The culture here at Logan was that almost everyone's camera was off, and I would have maybe two or three students with their cameras on in any period. It was clear that this just wasn't a good way to teach because, like my daughter, she really needed that social interaction. Teaching styles had to be adjusted to make learning at home effective. I had to rethink everything, actually, in addition to digitizing everything and uh, delivering everything online. Instead of being like playing sports and interacting as a team, obviously we couldn't do that. I turned it into a uh, individual fitness class. So uh, really utilizing fitness uh, information on the internet using YouTube. I created some of my own content and then really just made it uh, a fitness-based class for individuals. We tried to translate the in-person experience into a Zoom experience. Upon returning to in-person learning after a while, teachers notice a difference in student life and atmosphere. I think that the experience of being at home and not having a lot of interaction with other adults made uh, my students, anyway, my current students, I think more insular, isolated, perhaps. I think they were glad to be uh, here again, but kind of almost like they forgot how to function at school. I feel sometimes when I'm in the classroom today as if I'm still on Zoom and their cameras are still off. It feels like that sometimes. Occasionally I've had to say hello and they kind of look up at me like with surprise like oh yeah you're, you're still there. Being around structure has really kind of this year seems way more normal uh, of a year compared to uh, last year so I think just being here and you know having classroom management and structure, uh, it'll get better as we go. Despite the difficulties and challenges teachers face while being virtual, they overcame them and got something out of it. I think it's better than not having done anything for sure because um, you know we got we got to keep trying and we you know if if nothing else, it's a learning experience of how to face that adversity, how to deal with new new situations like that. Probably the biggest advantage potentially from virtual learning is that it can be asynchronous, so it doesn't have to be, everyone doesn't have to be in class at the same time. Teachers shared that they are glad to be back in the classroom again. This is Aliana Pasta for Ohlone Tri-City News.